for herself what needs to be done. I like that about her. As comfortable in her blue jeans as she is in elegant gowns and doing business with the gentry. Um, and very determined. Sort of has a score to settle. Um, interesting past and a very hopeful future, and I like that about the character. And the horses. I love horses. I've had horses in Colorado, quarter horses, for, oh, about ten years now, so. Wind boy. Bluegrass was the, I think, any time you work with animals, they always say never do a show with animals or children, that it's always so difficult. And you never know what's going to happen when you have, certainly, horses. They always tend to make very rude noises right over the top of your lines. And um, one scene I was working with Diane Lad, Lad and in conversation, I guess, the horse up my hair was hay or something because he started nibbling on my hair and um, you just never know what they're going to do. Get the picture? Yeah. It's not a very pretty one. No. no. Charlie's Angels made Cheryl Ladd a star, but her success has had its drawbacks. It was sort of overwhelming now that Charlie's Angels at the time, that whole shampoo poster mentality of, of what all that was. and and the popularity of the show worldwide, it was pretty overwhelming. I'm, I'm much happier with the way things are now. I think I have it much better, better in control. Um, nobody ever gives you any lessons as to how to cope with that instant success. It's not easy, especially when you're very young. Um, it can en enhance your life, but I think you have to pretty, have a pretty good sense of yourself through it all to pull through it. There's nothing like getting out of a car, uh, a limousine, in a great dress and having millions of people standing around screaming your name. I mean, I think it would be nice for all of us to have that experience once, but uh, um, as, a, as a steady diet, I think it's um, difficult. The success that came to Cheryl seemed to happen overnight, but she worked for it for a long time. It's always a struggle. Uh, there were a few bleak periods uh, early on when I first came to Los Angeles and I ate peanut butter sandwiches three times a day because I didn't have any money and was waiting for that next check to make the rent and all of that, but it's good for the soul, they say. Name your price. I'll give a dollar more than Mrs. Breen offers any time. A hundred thousand dollars. With Bluegrass, Cheryl Ladd adds one more character to the variety of women she has played in television dramas since she left Charlie's Angels. One of the most interesting parts of, of being an actress for a living is you can try out other people <laughs> and other parts of your personality um, and perhaps be more outrageous than you are allowed to be in your life, certainly. Um, that's fun. It's... Um, but you always use parts of yourself. Uh, I look for a good script and an interesting character, a character that has something perhaps that I haven't been had an opportunity to play before. Uh, I like to surprise myself and certainly my audience. You know, when people tune in and they say, oh, well, Cheryl's doing something tonight, and they look in, I hope that they say, gee, I wonder what it's going to be, as opposed to, oh, it's Cheryl, it's going to be this. <laughs> so. Um,